Hey guys, it's get reeled again. Uh, as I promised, I was gonna bring you all uh, a video of me putting the EVA foam down on the boat. It's after work now, it's probably about six o'clock. Um, staying back, I've got a mate of mine, Alex, helping me. Uh, we've got the EVA foam, we unrolled it, and I just sandwiched it between two pieces of ply just to flatten out so it makes it easier to work with when we're templating and um we got some of that shit to wipe the boat out and uh and then we'll wipe it down with acetone as well so alex uh, i have uh, employed the services of uh, linux painting who better than to uh, give me a hand uh, so yeah so we're gonna wipe it down with this um, wax and grease remover first and then acetone afterwards and then uh, we'll show you all the templating of the boat uh, which we done last night at nine o'clock last night um, I think we got a pretty good template okay close enough uh, we're not looking for a showroom finish here. For those of y'all are hoping to see it, this boat in the Melbourne Boat Show, you're not going to see it there. Uh, we're just getting it down so it's neat and clean and nice on the feet. What time is it? What time is it? It's time to stretch your mundukandas. <laughs> <laughs> it is in time. This, this is what you got to do in this old age. Just yeah. bend knees, you bend lie down. You bend in different uh, angles, angles that make you think to yourself, uh, why did I go down there? And then you can't get up again. So anyway, yeah, that's... we are doing the template for the Everform floor. We've got some cardboard and we're just uh, pushing it in all the gaps. That doesn't sound right. Um, but yeah, so we're doing the templating. Um, we just started. I'm already broken. By the end of it, I shall be fully broken. But um, so far, so good. Seems to be working out, I think. Uh, so we get, it's been a while since I've done the first floor. This is the second one. Hopefully, I do a better job this time. Yeah? Okay, so we've just wiped the floor down with uh, prep wash or wax and grease remover and then with acetone and I'm not too worried to get all the glue from the previous one out if that glue stuck chances are the new glue will stick too so it doesn't matter uh, so we're gonna now let this dry off properly and we're gonna start templating the floor itself so high as a kite acetone is really whew, especially in confined spaces um, that's okay we're not drinking so, so now we'll start with the templating okay this is our template made just put it on there and marked the thing out it's a pity though a little bit short so we'll have to make a plan there not to be bothered anyway that's out the front um all right so we'll get this lifted off and cut off okay we got the first half or three thirds no one third two thirds three thirds that's a, what's three thirds three thirds is one hole <laughs> okay so we got um Three quarter way down on half of the boat uh, to the front there. Uh, we're just gonna trim and do that bit underneath, so it should be good. finished product I think 
think uh, I think I'm happy with that it's not the best job but it is pretty bloody good now that was a bit of a mission but um, it certainly looks better than that camo um, EVA that I had done before in saying that it had been down there for almost five or six years I reckon and it did well in the five or six years um, so let's see here how, how long I can get out of this one as you all know I use my boat quite a bit so it's going to be interesting let's see I'll put it through the test and uh, give it a bit of um, give it a bit of a hammering and see what happens <laughs> 